So you clicked on this video because you want to know if you should buy last year's HP Omen with the i7-11700H and RTX 3060, or this year's HP Omen with the i7-12700H and RTX 3060 GPU. Well, that's exactly what we're going to answer for you right now. We're gonna look at some benchmarks and help you make the right purchase for your needs. Now, just for a second before we get into the benchmarks, looking at the features and the build quality of these laptops, they're the exact same. You're gonna have the same ports, you're gonna have the same webcam, you're gonna have the same keyboard deck. It's just all the same. It even, it even talks the same. Hey, I'm the same as I was last year. So it's the same, all right? But the benchmarks is where we're gonna see if we have any big differences. So jumping into Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi-Core, you can see that the newer model stands out as far as the simulated benchmarks are concerned. Most of the benchmarks have the latest 12th gen substantially above last year's model. Everywhere but Geekbench Single Core. Geekbench Single Core was really close between the 12th gen and the 11th gen models. Now, as you go ahead and look at Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, we did not see a substantial bump in performance. Now, this was mainly because you have the same GPU inside of each of these laptops. So NVIDIA is kind of holding us back, so to speak, by keeping this same GPU. But of course, they haven't launched new GPUs and laptops yet. Of course, the 40 series was just announced. So, or 4,000, 40, 4,000, I guess that's the way you talk about it. It was just announced, but they haven't made it into laptops yet. So right now we're seeing very similar performance. The CPU is not making a huge difference inside of 3D modeling programs. As we get into SolidWorks, it's literally almost the exact same score. It's one point difference. Um, so as far as 3D modeling is concerned, if you can find the 11th gen on a deal, that would be great. Or as far as 3D modeling is concerned, if you could find the 11th gen with an RTX 3070 or RTX 3070 Ti for maybe the same price as the 12th gen, if you're 3D modeling, that might be a stellar purchase for you. So you're getting more GPU, but like slightly less CPU, but if you're 3D modeling, it would be more beneficial. You catch my, my, my drift, my breeze? Catch my breeze wind. Now, as we move on into After Effects, you can see it's about a 70 point difference between last year's model and this year's model. Again, nothing substantial. And this kind of has been disappointing to me. I thought the 12th gen would really give us this big boost in performance, but really we're seeing this standard 15 to 20% increase in performance that usually happens iteration over iteration. Let's say right now you own 11th gen and you're considering upgrading to 12th gen. I would never make a single iteration upgrade. I would always wait two or three iterations before I upgrade. That is how I do it because it's not worth that 15 to 20% jump in performance. It is worth more of a 30 to 50% jump in performance, which usually happens over two to three iterations of CPUs and GPUs. Now, moving on to video editing, we actually saw almost the exact same performance. Playback in 4K, zero drop frames. Playback in B-RAW, 456 was the 12th gen model, 465 was the 11th gen model. And then of course in red footage, we saw around the 900s for both models. So again, you're not seeing that big of a difference in so again, you're not seeing that big of a difference in performance. I hate to say it, but I'm honest. That's what this channel is here for, to make sure you, you get the best bang for your buck. Now looking at the thermals for the 4K export, you're gonna have a better export time out of the 11th gen model, but you're gonna have a cooler and quieter export out of the 12th gen model. So 68 degrees Celsius at a 50 decibel fan noise will give you two minutes and 38 seconds versus the 11th gen model with a 72 degrees Celsius thermal a 52 decibel fan noise and a two minute and eight second export time for 4K. So tomato, tomato, what do you want? Slightly better cooler thermals, slower, slightly slower export time. That's up to you or a little faster, a little warmer laptop, but not really that much warmer. 72 degrees Celsius is still a great thermal. Now, as we go and move down the line again, you're gonna have, now we now as we go and move on to DaVinci Resolve again, you're gonna have slightly faster 4K export out of DaVinci Resolve for the 11th gen versus the 12th gen. Again, it's kind of surprising. I don't always know what to say when some things end up the same. I wanna say that laptops always get faster no matter what. But in this case, it seems like efficiency was where the 12th gen CPU really shined more than just straight performance. Now in the simulated benchmarks, we did see more performance, but actually when you get into more of the specific benchmarks, 
you don't see as much of a performance increase than you would have expected. Now, by this point, it may sound like I'm trying to convince you to get the 11th gen model. And really the choice is yours. I really don't mind either way, which one you purchase, but I just wanted to show you the raw transparent benchmarks to see that these laptops are quite similar in performance. I think where we're gonna see the biggest bump in performance for the HP Omen in the future is gonna be when we get RTX 40 series inside of these laptops, but don't hold your breath. That could be anywhere from six to 12 to 18 months down the road before they actually hit mass market and you can purchase one of these laptops with a 40 series GPU. So if you need a laptop now, then make your purchase, get it going, you have to work or maybe you, know, you have to go to school. So don't hold your breath for always the next iteration of tech. You will be waiting forever. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase right now. Likes of this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.